Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Welcome back. I hope you guys are enjoying Christmas week. Today I'm bringing you some de-atomizer strike gameplay on the map Breakout in honor of a nuclear Christmas week. But it's not good news for the zombies. Their atoms are gonna get scrambled all week. So you saw my opening rush and always be careful of one zombie running across the wall as well. That's why you gotta be there first. So you'll be able to destroy them on that wall run. And they love to go up in that building. So just take them out. There's a few normally here as well. Sniping or camping. So be careful of trip mines as well. And make sure to watch until the end. It gets so crazy. Murphy's Law will always try to screw you in this game. When you're on a streak. Or when you're on a nuclear streak especially. It tries it. But it will not succeed. And the enemy team will know that I am on a nuclear streak and they will come after me. They will try to get me and my perception goes off. I go straight into phase shift. And phase shift is so much better than rewind. Because you can just use scavenger. You don't need the extra reloaded ammo from rewind. You can just use scavenger. And phase shift will save you from many scenarios. And they get taken out just like that. My teammate is calling in a care package. So they can potentially push forward that care packages. I'm aware of that and you have to be particularly aware of that as well. It's like fresh brains for these zombies. They come after it. Now I absolutely love this head glitch as well. If you think they're going to push you from there, just stay behind a head glitch and take them out with an assault rifle LMG or even a sniper rifle. It works very well. Also pay particular attention to how I'm navigating around the map. Notice the areas that I am avoiding and the areas that I am pre-aiming and flanking through. And I see this enemy going up the stairs, I put some shots into him, he doesn't die, and I push him. But I should not have pushed him, but thankfully, I had face shift. So like I said, don't let your aggression get the better of you, and always have an escape plan as well. I knew I had face shift, so I had a secondary option to escape. Look at me making the decision now to push back to my teammates. It's a safer place to go to, and I can then rework the map again. And look at where the gremlins came from now, so if I had stayed there, or push to the opposite side, I could have potentially gotten killed. And look at this guy like Golem from Lord of the Rings in a cave, they come at you, they're relentless. But I put a few bullets into his head so that stopped him right there, right? Now I'm checking this area here because it's a very big hotspot. So be careful of that and I'm flanking around like this. I prefer to come around on this side, you know, keep noticing navigation. You see, if I had passed the other side where I was talking about, he would have killed me because he would have saw me and shot me from the sides. So, of course, always flank around like that. And I get my advanced UAV. And I have my phase shift ready as well. And look at that. Boom. Get destroyed, boy. Check your six. Check your wall run. They love using it as well. Now, look at this situation. I see the red triangles on the map. I'm pushing very aggressively. I want to get there before they can enter through the door. And boom, he's dead. Through a choke point and I kill him. It's very calculated like that. And where I'm going now is a major spawn area. They love spawn in that building as well. And this area, so be very aware of that. It's a very strong spawn. Even if you're in here and you're watching it, sometimes they will spawn on you. So be careful of that fact. Now you see my teammates with me now. And I see the dead skulls ahead of me to the 11 o'clock and 10 o'clock. So I'm pushing around here now. I'm just going to peek it. I'm going to pre-aim it. And I see this clear. I'm getting stuck on this ledge. I'm like, how am I getting stuck on this man? I take the wall run and I'm flanking around now. Hopefully I can catch him in the spawn. I see some of my teammates there as well. I pick him off and notice how I went and checked this side of the map first because they could potentially be over here and I as predicted they pushed it and I'm going back towards my teammates now I know it's a safer zone to have and I picked that gremlin off who was spying on me so keep looking at my decision making and how I'm playing so now I'm just flanking around like this my back is to the edge of the map my teammates are behind me so of course they have to be either ahead of me or to the right of me so now I'm going to reflank again from this side, but I'm behind a head glitch first and I'm checking it and I'm pre-aiming it. Now I jump up on here. It's a very nice spot to have. And to see the map, I peeked the middle of the map. Now I'm flanking around this side, my favorite side. I'm avoiding the middle of the map, which is a major death zone. You will see that often. Now I'm warring. I made sure that it is safe and cleared first though before I wall run. It's very important. And you see me pre-aiming the doorway as well. Then I jumped onto the wall run. And worst case scenario, I have my phase shift. I'm saving my phase shift for the worst case scenario. I'm close to my streak as well. So that's why I'm doing so. And I picked these two guys off. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. That's why you never push through the middle like that. You see from that evidence there. I encountered this enemy. I thankfully killed him, which was very good. 
and now I move around on this side but look at this situation now my teammates are directly ahead of me even though I see a death skull but I'm not sure of that situation so I move back here and remember I said it's a very strong spawn area and look at that oh almost almost had me so be wary of that you see that spawn I'm one more kill away from the Atomizer Strike. Murphy's Law is really testing. Really testing. Now look at this. I tag him up. He didn't die. So I'm just spraying him there. Hopefully he will push back out so I can just pick him off. And no. Look at that. My teammate actually dies inside there. So I move away. And in situations like this, just keep your composure. Don't do anything stupid. So I'm just spraying them now with an assault rifle. I put some distance between us. I tag him up. He still doesn't die. I'm getting so red. I thankfully just move away. It's so close and never pick it again because he will take you out when you're weak like that don't pick it a second time so i'm regaining my health here i'm waiting for the right time but remember the power position is where that enemy is so i cannot push it he will have a huge advantage over me if i do so so now i said all right let me check another area then let's check into my right and look a grenade i go straight into phase shift you have to react really quickly you see what i mean my murphy's law it really tests you and I just need one more kill for the deatomizer strike. So I'm just keeping that patience. I'm keeping that discipline. I'm checking the score. I'm checking the time. Now I'm going to recheck the area that I was previously. So I see the skull on the map. Now look at this. I see my teammate behind me. I'm not talking to him. I know he's going to push from that doorway. And I make him push first. And the enemy is distracted. And I kill him. He gets wrecked. Don't wait for me like that. Boy, you will get destroyed. I get the deatomizer strike and that's called a bait and switch technique. I call the deatomizer strike in and I'm gonna scramble me some zombie atoms today. That's how we do it. Boom! Flawless gameplay. The only death came from the deatomizer strike. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a like if you did. Please share the videos if you want to see me grow and thank you again for sharing the videos. You guys are amazing and do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye. Victory.